Good morning. God's kingdom is at hand. You are not alone. It is well. Looking after a friend or a relative who has dementia is often very, very, very challenging indeed. It is as important to look after your own health as it is that of the person with dementia or the one that you are taking care of. You see, when you are caring for someone else, it is easy to overlook your own needs. But looking after your health and making time for yourself can help you feel better and cope much, much better with your caring role. You see, caring for someone with dementia may lead to feel feelings of guilt, sadness, confusion, or even anger, and much more. Unlike with other conditions, it can be extremely difficult to share these feelings with someone with dementia, leaving you feeling very, very isolated, even more so now than ever. You see, other people, other people in the family or friends who do not understand the pressures, the demands, and the daily uphill struggle always seems to think that they know much better than you who is in it, who is doing it day to day. When I say going through it, I mean really going through it. The one who is going through the wake up calls at silly o'clock in the morning, the feeds, the pad changing, the hoisting perhaps, challenging behaviors, dependency, and God only knows what else you are contending with. And to those critics, you're thinking to yourself, if you knew that you would do a much better job than I, well, why didn't you speak up and take it when it rose that the person you are caring for required the help which they need? Why didn't they speak up? Only now they are giving you lots and lots of criticism. Or even worse, the only reason they want to take on the duty is for their own personal and manipulative gain, which would lead to the incorrect treatment of your loved one. Correct me if I'm wrong here in saying you have either thought of saying it or actually have said it. Now with the crisis, their advice and constant, constant persistence to your level of care is probably driving you right up the wall, literally, with nowhere to run. You are not alone. As a child of God, you don't have to get yourself worked up, frustrated about it, because you know that you are the best person for the job, chosen by God as his child for the role that no one else can do. You see, it takes a special kind of person to care for someone, putting someone else before themselves, gentle at heart, loving as love is kind, love is patient, it does not envy, it does not boast, love is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, love keeps no records of wrong. It does not delight itself in evil, but rejoices in truth and always, always protects, always trusts, always hopes, slow to anger, quick to forgive, always at hand to help someone in need, does things wholeheartedly, always perseveres well organized although at times you may question yourself but above all you know how to love and to give love unconditionally like a soldier fighting for his country completely focused on the job at hand with disregard for their own lives but casting their lives on the front line to defend and protect in love of their country don't stress about what they are saying or what to say for they do not know and will not ever know unless they 
do what you are doing. And not only for a day or two, but for months on end, on a daily basis, like you are doing right now. Lord knows <laughs> when they start and you know when it's coming. Thank God for mobile mute button. Use it. If you can't hear it, it cannot affect your heart. Trailing you in your thoughts, making you angry and so on. It is just not worth it. All the negativity, it is just not worth it. Keep those people at bay. Limit your conversations and just hang up. Just hang up. Whatever it takes not to listen to the negativity. Thank God for the crisis. They can't just pop up on your doorstep unannounced. God is good. Especially with these regulations that are in place at the moment. This is one thing to praise God for right now in this crisis. God knows where you are and what you need. Just trust him. Just trust him. It will be well. I know only too well how difficult it is and it has been and still is going on. But do try and enjoy these times you have and are blessed with having your loved ones around. Find fun things to do together and most importantly, find a few gaps in the day just for you, doing the things that bring you pleasure, like a relaxing bath, for example, having a coffee or tea in peace, washing the car, watching your favorite film or TV show. Laughter is key. Thank you very, very much for loving as you do. Thank you for answering the call and accepting the call to care. You are a child of God and you are never, you will never ever be alone. God is for you. Therefore, try as they may, but no one can be against you. Strength in your weakness and at your weakest moment. It's always easy for some people to criticize, or for people to criticize from afar. Mentally, for them, I suppose it makes them think that they are actually contributing in some way. Um, you know, giving you an unneeded, un, unwanted advice, might I add. But don't hold it against them. And just, just let, it, let it go. Let it wash off you. Basically, it's water off a duck's back so to speak they have nothing better to do and you just carry on being the fantastic caregiver that you have been doing if you like what you've been listening to do like subscribe and share the channel for the growth of the channel so that a whole lot more people will learn to appreciate the elderly and god willing treat them a whole lot better. Making a change 